seen an increase in violence here since it became a police free zone? Of course! <laughs> yes, definitely, yes. I'm in Minneapolis, the city which is once more back in the national spotlight, ahead of the trial of Derek Chauvin, the former Minneapolis police officer who stands accused of killing George Floyd. Since Mr. Floyd's death, the area where he died has been blocked off with concrete barriers and makeshift checkpoints, where volunteers and activists check who comes in and out. They say they do not want police in the area. And by and large, the emergency services have stopped responding to incidents in the area. But local business owners I spoke to said that what had occurred since was a rise in violent crime and they were desperate for the streets to be reopened to allow more of their businesses to survive. For me, I know there's times when I've called the police and I needed the police to come um, for whatever reason. And since the police has not been able to come down here for the last year, uh, let's say the last 10 months, um, definitely there's been an increase in violence. My customers are, you know, are not coming. Um, I had one employee that quit because he feared for his life. This street is where we had this 37th Street, then you have 38th Street. In the beginning of 37th Street and 36th Street is like United States. And when we come in this area, which is 37, 38, and 39th Street, is like Mexico, where it's lawlessness and where you can do something over here in the United States and you can run over here. It is like Mexico, where police won't be able to come, they won't come over here and chase you, or you can do anything that's lawlessness and then get come in this area, you'll, you'll have, it's like a shelter, you'll be protected. There are often meetings of activists who gather to discuss how to forward the defund the police movement, as well as the Black Lives Matter movement. Many are determined not to reopen the zone, which has now been renamed George Floyd Square, until the city meets its demands. The Minneapolis police chief has acknowledged that the situation is unacceptable, but the police chief has also admitted that he doesn't have the resources to maintain a significant presence in that area or in other parts of the city. There will be a heavy police presence in this downtown area where I'm standing now for the next few weeks. Just behind me is the courthouse where Mr Chauvin will stand trial. He's accused of second degree murder as well as third degree murder and unintentional manslaughter. There's been a great deal of publicity around Mr. Chauvin's trial, and it's one of the most highly anticipated court cases in the US for several years. As you can see behind me, there are metal fences. There's also concrete barriers around the courthouse because the city is expecting trouble, both during and after the trial. Some say that violence is inevitable, regardless of the outcome. But Minneapolis is doing all it can to prevent the same violence that rocked the city last summer.